what is up guys and welcome to another video and this is a video two years in the making the only reason why it's two years is because this item um i actually backed on kickstarter and i i was never going to make a video on this i don't really have too many videos on just regular playing cards but i felt this one was needed for uh, a video because for multiple reasons one it was two years after i had backed it and it had um completed and it went successful and i had backed multiple cards um since then and all those cards have come in uh before one of them two of them well multiple of them being the uh, arsenal set uh this set that i actually really really like and so i am gonna i wanted to make a video for this just to mark it that it actually came but it is definitely not what we were hoping for so first off let's actually look at what it is so we had the stellar kingdoms got both gold and silver i actually got two boxes so that way i could open one but i opened it and um normally with uh fresh packs they don't have like this um factory smell they have the cardboard smell of fresh cards and that that smell is actually very good i actually like that smell one of the reasons why i continuously buy playing cards because opening them is just that smell of fresh cards i like it that's also why i like to do trading cards because opening smelling them and i i know smelling is weird but hey it's my thing but brand new cards smell fairly decent depending on which company actually uh, manufactures them this one let's let me let me look it up this one was actually uh printed uh at a local one from where these were made uh called wj printing i don't know exactly where they are based i'm gonna guess like hong kong or something because it, it i don't know um but it has kind of like a fruity smell uh opening these had the normal playing card smell but this one had the most odor just did not smell good at all even the the odor actually got on my hands and it took good while to get it off but thank you for backing us uh we're not appreciative honestly we're appreciative that we got it but it's not any it's not good like card quality it's playing cards but it is like the worst quality and you got i i can literally just lightest hold and i'm you got like a stack just stuck together like it is bad like these are not good for the cards like it can actually ruin the cards now depending on uh how they were sealed and whatnot sure that could be a part of it but the cards themselves were not sealed it's the box and it must have had a crap ton of moisture whenever they sealed it because this is just bad. The cards themselves look decent. It's not what they advertise, really. It has a shim to them, but it is, it's not as elegant as what they um, said. So these were actually done through you. I have all the tabs here so give me a sec usp c 
these were manufactured manufactured through USPC, but <laughs> um, it took two years to manufacture these. No, I got these, this, this, and these well before getting this well before and i actually ordered the uh those well after these these this was the i think second thing that i backed on kickstarter whenever i was on whenever i started doing kickstarter it it was ridiculous yeah it just smells god awful i'm, I'm not even willing to open up any more than this just because the smell it it's actually bad <laughs> Um, but I wanted to do this video cause they said that it was going to be produced by USPC. They don't even give like a grade of the, um, cardstock that it's being done on. Let me go to, uh, Trident and Sword, which was the first Arsenal set that, let's see, um, that they actually did which is card mafia uh so these were these were done by us uh, pc as well so let's actually check the card stock on these i really don't i don't like actually opening some of these boxes because it's just so freaking difficult just because right here come on right here the way it's cut it it's difficult to actually get the card the box open but these were done by usp uh uspc and the shine on the card while it's different it shouldn't be all too different let me get uh we get the joker joker right here okay so so the shine is going to be a little different because it has a aluminum uh, or just a reflective film underneath it, but it shouldn't be all that bad. Let me turn it around. Um, but the reflective, this is actually more reflective just on the base coat, not the actual like metallic version, but just the base, the black. It's more reflective than this one. This one actually has kind of like a matte, matte finish. So it's not as reflective. And the feel of them, this being the first set of the Arsenal, they went with one with a company that was well known um, and could easily produce. So it wasn't the, uh, the highest quality, but it's still very good. And they used, what was it? uh linen uh linen air light m30 cardstock that's what this is and it's actually fairly thin this is thicker but it feels cheaper you think it being the same company with a thicker cardstock it would feel pretty well pretty well uh the, the same but this just feels cheaper. So, um, that being said, I will link the Kickstarter in the description. I don't really expect y'all to go look through it. It was it the Kickstarter itself kind of frees it up, it makes it makes things uh, look more than what it is, and at the end of the day it is not what they said it was going to be and some some of the people that i have talked to or that i have actually seen talk about this not on youtube or anything but just in general uh they actually know people in uspc and these were never like from what they said, I'm taking it with a grain of salt. These were never actually uh, produced there, though I it could just be like, can't really say anything or whatnot. 
but the the box the cards everything just feels cheap and after two years you think they would actually get something together but it just did not happen so these are supposedly these were supposedly made from the same uh, card company as these not the creator but just the card distributor i actually have a few more that i can pull out so these were done uh this is actually a anubis or sorry i don't know if y'all can read that a a cashin a cashin i don't know i don't know it's egyptian uh these were done by a legend playing card uh so lpc and this is a much different quality because it's just a different manufacturer but it looks and feels pretty similar to USPC. So, yeah. I actually like um, the LPC, LPC cards, yeah. But we also have, um, that I have not opened, which I kind of don't want to open. Um, hold on. So, um, I didn't want to open that, so I got one that's already open. The um, Arsenal set, uh, after the first one, they found a, uh, a different manufacturer in Taiwan. So uh, TPC, or TPCC, if you want to add the code to it. Um, it's actually a much heftier on that. Never mind. Never mind. Get that. That was just a... A thank you card. And yes, I have not opened these yet either. I just, I have a whole wall full of cards. I can put a picture up on that. But these actually are actually a lot better quality than the their first set. So that's actually really good. They found a really good manufacturer for them. But, um, yeah, be careful on Kickstarter because um, some people will just put up a Kickstarter to get your money, go with the cheapest option to get whatever it was uh, made to get it to you, and it will not be the quality you were looking for. <laughs> like, this is just abysmal. I am fairly disappointed and the fact that it stuck together i had one stuck together which was these but the way it was compressed and if i remember correctly these were actually uh sealed on their own like the box was sealed but the cards were also sealed um if i remember correctly it's been a little while but these were also stuck together, but it actually was there. The quality of it is pretty good. Um, careful again, just know if you're going with someone who has not made a project before, it may backfire. Um, just do research if you can. Um, if you feel like you can take the risk, go for it. I took the risk on the Arsenal set from Card Mafia. And after their first set, it got shipped. They, as it was shipping, they actually went on to a sec, their second set. And I was shocked because we hadn't got them yet. But when we, when it got here, I was very impressed. These are not impressing at all i am i don't like the feel of the box like for a box it kind of, it's kind of the thing that displays everything and this is very shoddy work right here like none of the cards that i have ordered 
actually have a UPC label. They all have like descriptions of where it was made, who made them, or just a come on, or just uh, idols and whatnot. This this is just lazy work. It's not good. There should in no way be a UPC label because this was a Kickstarter thing. It's It was not going to be sold in stores. It should not be sold in stores because these are just bad. Um, yeah, don't, don't do what I did. I 99% uh, of us believed we got scammed and we did in a way. We got, we got the product, but it's just cheap not worth what we paid for so careful um kickstarter is risk risky but if you're willing to take a risk go for it just remember that kickstarter is a risky platform and if you're someone who is actually putting things on kickstarter be as transparent as possible um, couple, uh, one more thing, uh, for Kickstarter, anybody who does Kickstarter or just, um, actually backs people on Kickstarter, um, updates are very important. There is literally a function in Kickstarter where you send updates to all the people, all your backers. Th these people... The moment um, this project finished, they they gave us one update, I believe. Two, three, four, five. Okay, they gave us five updates, which is not bad. It's within a couple of months, uh, a month or so within each other, and then nothing. We got nothing for two years. Well, almost two years. Uh, and then they came back, and then it got here. But there's there was no there's no there there was no um, shutdown for two years for any of the companies. Um, there are projects that got backed got completed, got shipped out, got to the backers within the time that this claimed that they were being um, stalled. It's like, no, y'all just didn't want to do it. But so many people hounded them. And more than likely, Kickstarter kind of sent an email to them saying, hey, you should probably give them what they paid for. And we got something. Not what we paid for. Anyways. It's more of a rambly video. Kind of like me just complaining about this thing. I'm actually going to stop touching it. Um, it just smells bad. <laughs> but yeah, if, if anything, uh, there are people who are doing projects with Bicycle, which the this was a kickstarter um go go with people who are going with bicycle bicycle is a really good company um that does cards obviously because they're all over the place being sold in so many stores um take a chance on some things like this is actually really beautiful um no i have not opened it i don't want to but I know that it is the same quality as um, the card quality is going to be the same as this one. Because it they were transparent and told us what the card what the card manufacturer was and what card stock it was going to be. Uh, these people did not. They only told us what the manufacturer was, and even then, that's just a blatant lie because it's nowhere near the quality that 
this USP, USPC does. This is not the quality that they do. So no. All right, I'm gonna be I'm gonna I'm gonna be done rambling on. I'm I'm gonna put all my cards back on my wall. I'll put a I'll actually put a picture up now of what it looks like. Um, I have a lot of cards in boxes, so like uh, I I got I bought bricks of cards, so. A lot of it is duplicates, but um, I'm working on actually getting more and more cards because I actually enjoy collecting cards. And I was really hoping that this this set was going to be good, but the, just the quality is just so bad. The smell, the smell is what really got me. Like the moment I opened it, it smelled awful. So, and no cards that I have ordered, even the pretty bad quality ones which is like a it's a flex one did not smell bad so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this stupid video um if you want me to show off more of my cards uh some of them i can actually even put on my wall because they have like a luxurious uh box that just won't fit on the wall. Um, let me know. I might even show off um, this one. Might actually go ahead and open it. And this one has two styles. I just brought out the night one just to bring it out. But yeah, have a wonderful day or a night depending on where you are in the world. And we are watching this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.